Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 297 of the 365 day trivia road trip. The quiz today comes from Alabama. Richard Petruzella has sent in a 21 question trivia quiz where all of the random knowledge questions kind of have a number theme to them. Keep that in mind as you play today. Thank you for watching. Let's get started. Question number one. This number, known since at least the time of the ancient Greeks and perhaps earlier, is found by dividing the circumference of a circle by its diameter. What is the name of this long known number? The answer is pi. Question number two. This symbol or number was known to the ancient Egyptians and, indeed, most early civilizations. It was reintroduced to Europe by Arab mathematicians from Moorish Spain. Once this was added, what is this number that made modern methods of doing arithmetic possible? The answer we're looking for is zero. Question number three. Many nations are divided into smaller administrative units called states or provinces or territories. For example, the United States has 50 states and Mexico has 32 states. How many provinces make up the nation of Canada? There are three territories and ten provinces. Ten is the answer. Question number four. Many nations are an island, such as Taiwan or Cuba, or a group of islands, such as an archipelago. Japan and the Philippines are good examples of these. How many islands in the world actually have two countries sharing one landmass? There is just one, the island of Hispaniola, that shares Haiti and Dominican Republic. Question number five. One of Ray Bradbury's most famous science fiction novels tells of firemen who do not put out fires but create them by burning books, which are illegal. What is the title of this work, which is also the ignition point of paper? The answer is Fahrenheit 451. Question number six. This is the largest possible number and therefore mathematicians have given it its own special symbol. While the ancient Greeks discussed the philosophy of it, they never formally defined it. What is this name and special symbol of this number? The answer is infinity, and that's the infinity sign right there. Question number seven. This number was named by Milton Serrata, nine-year-old nephew of mathematician Edward Krasner, who popularized it in a 1940 book, Mathematics and the Imagination. What is this number, which is written as one followed by 100 zeros? Not to be confused with the search engine, the answer is a Google. Question number eight. The ever creative nine year old then suggested an even larger number of one followed by zeros until you get tired of writing them. His uncle decided that a more formal definition was needed, so he suggested it to be 10 to the power of Google. What did the youngster name this new and far larger number?
that is known as a Google Plex. Question number nine. Astronomical objects all appear to rotate on their axis as they orbit another body. The Earth revolves on its axis about 365 times during its orbit of the Sun. How many times does the Moon revolve on its axis during its orbit of the Earth? It's why the same side faces the Earth all the time. It only rotates once every time the Earth does. Question number 10. The Romans used a mathematical system where various letters stood for arithmetic values. In this system, called Roman numerals, the letter C had the value of 100 and M had the value of 1000. What was the value of the letter L? The answer is 50. L is 50. Question number 11. Egyptians also had a number system based on pictures called hieroglyphics. They also had a decimal system but not positional notation as we use today. Give a brief verbal description of their symbol for 1 million. What did that symbol look like? If you've got a screen in front of you, I'm going to show you a picture of it. It looks like a man with both arms raised in amazement. Just like that picture. Question number 12. Most people use the decimal system of numbers where there are 10 symbols, 0 through 10. Computers use the binary system comprising only two symbols, 0 and 1. To save space, programmers make use of the octal system to simplify binary notation. How many symbols does the octal system use? The octal system uses eight symbols. Question number 13. People seem to enjoy embedding numbers into their daily lives in whimsical ways. Those who have fun with math, calendars, and desserts have named a day Pi Day. What is the date for the humorous pie day? That's a holiday I can gladly get behind. Because of its 3.14, that would be March the 14th is pie day. Question number 14. The sieve of Eratosthenes, named after the ancient Greek mathematician, is used to find numbers of a set of numbers of great importance in many fields of mathematics, especially cryptology. What are these numbers called? That is used to find prime numbers. Prime numbers is the answer. Question number 15. Science has a number of important constant values that help define the universe, such as Planck's constant and Avogadro's number, each named after their discoverer. Another important constant is the speed of light. What is the approximate value of the speed of light in a vacuum? You can give me in uh, miles per second or meters per second. The answer is 186,000 miles per second or 300 million meters per second. Question number 16. The prolific French science fiction writer Jules Verne wrote of an amazing submarine and its eccentric commander. What was the title of this first novel to have Captain Nemo and the Nautilus as main characters? The answer is 20,000 leagues under the sea. Question number 17. The five oceans separate the Earth's land area into distinct land masses called continents, except Europe and Asia, which comprise a single landmass. All in all, 
How many continents are there on planet Earth? Not a trick question. How many continents are on planet Earth? The answer is seven. Question number 18. When searching the internet with your favorite browser, you occasionally get an error message indicating the browser could not find your web page. What is this most famous and probably most annoying of internet error codes? The answer is 404. Question number 19. Akira Kurosawa, the great Japanese filmmaker, made a movie where a group of samurai banded together to defend a village from bandits. This remarkable film has been remade several times, including at least once as a western. According to the title, how many samurai were there? That movie was called Seven Samurai. So the answer is seven. And question 20. In a few sports, there is something known as a perfect game. In bowling, you can get the highest score possible by bowling 12 consecutive strikes. What is your score if you achieve this perfect game? In bowling, what's the highest single game score? The answer is 300. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Check back tomorrow for day number 298. Can't believe we're going to hit episode or day number 300 this week. Then there's only 65 days left of the year. That's barely two months. This is going to be over before we know it. Today's quiz, though, was sent in by Richard Petruzzello. He sent one in last year for the Final 50 Challenge. He sent two in this year for the Quizlet Challenge. This was his first one. He's got another one that'll come up in the next couple of weeks. Thank you, Richard, for an excellent trivia quiz. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker for today. Russia is not only the largest country by area, it is also the longest east to west. If you traveled from St. Petersburg on the Baltic Sea to Vladivostok on the Pacific Ocean, how many time zones would you traverse? The country of Russia has 11 time zones. Whichever player got closest to 11 is going to win the point. If it was a tie, they just won the whole game. Congratulations. Thank you again one more time to Richard. Thank you to everybody else who watched it. See you tomorrow for day number 298.